So today we're going to be learning about tangent curves. Okay. For a standard tangent function, it is y equals a tangent bx minus c. In order to find the period, the period is pi over b. b is the number after tangent, so that's how you find it. And if there's no b, if there's no number after where b is supposed to be, then it's 1. Now to find the first asymptote, it's bx minus c equals pi over 2, and you just plug in the numbers into the equation. And to find the second asymptote, you add the period to the first asymptote, so you add pi over b to whatever this gives you. And then to find the third asymptote, you subtract the period from the first asymptote, so instead of adding, you subtract it. Now, a reflection is if a is negative, which is the number before tangent, if it's negative, then the graph flips. So this is how a, like, a positive tangent graph would look. It would go right, and then it would go down left. And then a negative um, tangent curve would go down, and then wait, down right. It would go down right. So it would be like left, and then right. All right, the problem is y equals tangent x. But there's nothing in front of the t's. A is 1, there's nothing in front of the x, and B is 1, and there is no C, so C is 0. To find the first asymptote, you put in the formula, Bx minus C is pi over 2. There's no B, so again it's 1. And x equals pi over 2 is your first asymptote. To find the second one, you take the period, which is 2 pi, because it, the period is 2 pi, because it's two, um, 2 pi over b is the formula, which is 2 pi. So you take the second asymptote, pi over 2 plus 2 pi, find the common denominator. 4 pi over 2. 36 minus the past 6 the uh, So the second one is 5 oh, yeah, pi over 2. Okay. To find the third one, you take pi over 2 minus 4 pi over 2, and you get negative 3 pi over 2. And you have all of them. You gotta graph it. We're asking folks now. Just draw the curves. That's it. One. Okay, the example problem is y equals 4 tangent 2x. The first thing you need to do is find your a, which is located right in front of tangent, so it's 4. Next thing you need to do is find your b, which is right in front of the x, so it's 2. And there's no c in this equation, so c equals 0. After that, you need to find your period. Your period equals pi over b, so my period equals pi over 2. Next thing you're going to look for is your asymptote, and you're going to use the equation bx minus c equals pi over 2. And then from then you just plug in your numbers. 2x is no c equals pi over 2. You want to get x by yourself, by itself, divide by 2 on each side. Keep change flip. So you end up with pi over 4. And that's your first asymptote. To find your second asymptote, take the first asymptote, and you can add pi over 2, which is your period. And they have to have the same denominator. So you multiply top and bottom by 2. You get pi over 4 
plus 2 pi over 4, which is 3 pi over 4. To get your third asymptote, take your first asymptote and subtract your period, which is pi over 2. And once again, you multiply top and bottom by 2 over 2. So the same denominator. Pi over 4 minus 2 pi over 4 equals negative pi over 4. And that's your third asymptote. And then next you make a graph. Pi over 4. 3 pi over 4 and negative pi over 4. And there you go. Boom. Hello. We are doing our example here is y equals negative 2 tangent x. First we find the a. The a is in front of the tangent. It is negative 2, that is right, a. Then we find the b. The b is for the x, but after the tangent, there is no number there, so it is a 1. Then we find our first asymptote. It's an equation bx minus c equals pi over 2. Once we have that, we plug in the numbers. The negative does not enter the equation. It is 1x equals pi over over 2. With that, we have our first asymptote. Now we put in the equation to find the second. That is x equals pi over 2 from the original equation plus 2 pi over 2. Now, because there's a negative here, the graph is a reflection of the original. We have the first one here, negative pi over negative pi over 2. Second so step is pi over 2. And the third is 3 pi over 2. So because the normal graph would go itself, the reflection moves like so. Now over here we have the second acetone coming in itself. This example is y equals tangent parentheses x minus pi over 4. First, what you need to do is find your a. There's nothing in front of the tangent. The a is 1. For your b, there's nothing in front of the x, so the b is also 1. And the c is right here. It's pi over 4. For your first asymptote, you use a formula right here. bx minus c equals pi over 2. And you just plug in the numbers. 1x minus your c which is pi over 4, equals pi over 2. You add pi over 4 on both sides, this cancels out. You need to get a common denominator, so this will be 4, 2. Your first asymptote is 3 pi over 4. For your second asymptote, you get your first one, 3 pi over 4, and add the period, which is pi, which is pi over b, since the b is 1, it's just pi. You need to find a common denominator, 4, 4, 7, pi over 4. That's your second asymptote. And for your third, you just get your original asymptote, 3 pi over 4. Subtract the period, which is pi, common denominator, negative pi over 4. That's your last one. And you plot the points. Put your asymptotes down.